Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video we're going to be doing a bit of a follow-up to a video that I did earlier this year on Geek XP, which was actually an unofficial Windows version submitted to me by a viewer of this channel named 360 Alaska. And uh, he recently messaged, or he actually posted over on my forum site, osforms.net, that he has actually released an update to his original version, uh, or I'm assuming it's not his or original version because this version right here that we're taking a look at today is version 4.0 of Geek XP. So I don't know if that version that I originally took out was like version 1.0 or version 3.0 or what but either way we're gonna be taking a look at this again because he has made a couple of changes to this and I just thought it'd be you know kind of cool to do a bit of a follow-up video and show you guys what has changed but one thing that you're probably able to notice and this is very similar to the original version of geek XP as well is that the whole setup process hasn't really been changed the only thing that has been changed is it's made a little bit more automated I believe on this screen right here you don't actually have to put in any user uh, information you don't have to specify your time zone or your language your keyboard layout the setup has all of that set up for you it actually will create a uh, you know user account for you to use and you guys can see, I mean, just check that out. Like we literally just finished the setup process and the boot screen didn't even have time to load properly. I do believe that this does skip the out of box experience as well. Uh, so that is another, you know, way that it just kind of makes everything a little bit more automated. And here we go. So you can see right off the bat, there is a new welcome screen and a bit of a new logo as well. The one in the original version of, of uh, Geek XP that we took a look at on this channel did look a little bit different. He's actually created this uh, to be themed around the new theme that he's added to this, which is the embedded theme from Windows Embedded. And we're actually, this recording is just at six minutes. And I started this recording when we, um, first or when I first powered on the machine. So the video is probably not six minutes long yet, but this thing from me pressing the power on button is one that I first actually started this recording to now it's been about six minutes. So that's how fast this was able to set up. And just, you know, so you guys know, this is not on a solid state drive. I'm not running this on any sort of SSD. This is just on my standard VM hard drive. It's a standard 7200 RPM hard drive that I've used for years. And uh, it's just incredibly fast. So just to show you guys, let me go ahead and just... Um, no, I don't want to log off. I want to shut down here. Let me go ahead and just restart this and let me show you guys. As soon as this thing restarts, I'm going to set a stopwatch on my phone here. So once it goes, okay, we're going to start it now. So check this out. Like the boot screen doesn't even get a chance to load. Like we were at the desktop. That was five seconds. That is insane. Like I, that's crazy. <laughs> it's five seconds. The thing is that the, like, oh my gosh. Okay. I didn't even think that it was that fast, but okay, five seconds. Like, you guys probably saw that it didn't even get a chance to load the boot screen. So, what all has been changed from the original version of Geek XP? Well, you guys may remember that that whole unofficial Windows version had a focus of kind of combining both Windows XP Tablet PC Edition and Media Center Edition. What it did is it brought a lot of programs and visual elements from those two versions of Windows XP and it just kind of combined combine them and mesh them together under one operating system. It was a really cool concept um, and he's basically updated it in this specific version here by adding some additional programs and actually removing some things as well and changing uh, some programs out with different ones. So you'll see that the first kind of sign that you're using uh, aside from the theme, if you guys go to my old Geek XP video, uh, the first you know, program you guys can probably see here is Mozilla Firefox. Mozilla Firefox has been added. This is the latest version of Firefox that runs on Windows XP. Um, so that I believe, let's go ahead and just go to about here. That is version 52.9, the uh, extended service release or the extended support release. So this is actually a little bit more recent than I thought it was. This was released uh, just over a year ago on June 26, 2018. So it's over a year old. Um, but yes, definitely not as old as I thought it was, but still it's probably not the most ideal web browsing experience because it hasn't been updated in over a year, but it's better than using Internet Explorer 6. I mean, that's for sure. So it is nice that that is uh, bundled in here. It honestly, looks really good with this theme. I do have to say that. Um, we'll go ahead and just uh, close that out. As for the icon pack and programs like Infra Recorder and VLC, uh, these programs were in the original version of Geek XP. The, um, 
original version also had this icon pack. It had the Windows Vista and 7 sounds you guys probably heard earlier when we uh, booted this thing up. And it, it does definitely look very, very nice. You can see that these folders here, they, they just kind of really go with the theme. I, I do have to say that it just, it just all really goes together. And yes, I am a fan of this embedded theme. I have to say that that looks really, really nice as well. But the embedded theme isn't the only theme that's been added to this. We can go into the theme properties here. And, uh, or I shouldn't say theme, I should say visual style, because all of the themes here, um, which is like the aquarium theme, the Da Vinci theme, nature theme, all of these themes came from uh, some of the Microsoft Plus packs, which um, some uh, elements from those packs have been integrated into this as well. Uh, so that is also pretty cool but a lot of these themes were in the original version of geek xp as well um this uh, desktop wallpaper was in geek xp as well it's called new bliss 2 i'm not sure if that's the official name um, by whoever created this or if the author just did that um, but either way there you go um, screensaver for some reason the default screensaver is this uh, log on one and it's literally just a floating box that says unspecified error encountered okay so just really quickly here i just wanted to point out that the reason why this screensaver was displaying that error message is because i didn't have the proper drivers installed um, I've just installed VMware Tools now, and you can probably see that now uh, we actually have the screensaver working here. Now, one of the other cool things is the author has actually bundled a couple screensavers from Vista into this OS as well. So we have this uh, logon screensaver, we have the bubbles screensaver as well, um, which is this one right here. I'm sure you guys have all seen it if you've used either Vista or Windows 7. It's a pretty cool screensaver. Um, we also have, if we go down here, um, we have the ribbons screensaver. This one is another one from uh, Windows Vista. It looks pretty cool. Uh, so there you go. And there's a couple more in here. We have the uh, Aurora screensaver. Um, this one is pretty cool. And I think, um, I think that is it. Most of these other ones here are from either Windows XP the, you know, itself or from some of the uh, plus packs like the uh, Da Vinci theme and the space and the aquarium themes. Those are actually or, uh, screensavers. Those are from the Microsoft plus packs that have been added into this as well. So um, nevertheless, there's a lot of uh, screensaver options in here for you to choose from, which is definitely a pretty nice addition. And under appearance here, under the uh, visual styles, this is where we can actually take a look at the Zoom theme. Uh, because that is the other theme that has been added in here. So the previous edition of Geek XP had the XP style, the classic style, and the media center style, um, which is this theme right here. Uh, so in this version, he's added the embedded style, which only has one color scheme, as well as the zoom style, which also only has one color scheme. Both of these look very nice. They actually look kind of similar aside from uh, the um, you know different colors. It just kind of has a similar look to it. The start menu is a bit darker in both of them, which is very nice. Um, but yes, the Zune theme, if you're not aware, was actually available for download on Microsoft's website. This was an official theme. And that's one of the other things that's really cool about this is there's not a whole lot of like unofficial modifications or unofficial programs. This is all, for the most part, official stuff that was released by Microsoft. Aside from obviously all of the third party programs, programs. Of course, there's not really a, a whole lot of those in here. You just have Firefox, VLC, Info Recorder, and one of the other changes was 7-Zip was added to this as well. And to show you that, um, I don't believe it appears in the All Programs menu. You can see in here there is no folder for 7-Zip, but if I go ahead and actually create a new um, zip folder here and I right-click on it, you can see that there's a new 7-Zip column in the right-click context menu here, and this is this actually replaces WinRAR. So this is one of those changes that I was talking about where he actually removed a program, which was uh, WinRAR. That was available in the previous version and um, actually added 7-Zip. So I'm going to let you guys decide whether you think WinRAR or 7-Zip is better. I personally use both on my computer, although I use WinRAR a little more than I do 7-Zip. Um, but... Either way, if you like, you know, 7-Zip more than WinRAR, there you go. He's actually swapped them out um, for you, which is pretty cool. So there you go. We'll go ahead and actually just move this to the recycle bin here. So yes, that is the overall, like, appearance changes. Those are the only, like, major visual elements that have been changed um, are the themes. And let's go ahead and just take a look at the programs once more. 
Um, the Media Center program is still here. This was, um, and it's actually going to warn me about a video card driver that I don't have, um, but it will still launch for us. This was available in XP Media Center Edition. I believe that I briefly touched on this in the original video as well. So that is the Media Center program. Um, we also have, and also I believe that he's added this as well, um, Internet Explorer 8. So we do not have Internet Explorer 6. He's actually updated this for us to Internet Explorer 8, which is definitely nice. Um, obviously, it's still a lot better to use the bundled Mozilla Firefox as well, but it's nice that he just updates Internet Explorer so you don't have to deal with IE6 because IE6 is definitely not the best browser to use. Now, it's probably not the best to use IE8 either, but you know, it's it's just kind of nice that he's updated that for us is what I'm trying to say there. Um, let's go ahead and actually take a look at some of these other programs in here. You can see that the Windows Digital Media Enhancements with our favorite, Windows Dancer, that is still in here. I had this uh, Windows Dancer up for the entirety of the last video. I just thought that the, you know that, that was kind of funny to do in that previous video. Um, we also have Windows Party Mode, CD Label Maker, and Audio Converter. These were all in um, the Microsoft Plus Digital Media Edition, which I did a video on back like in 2014. If you want to go ahead and check that out up in the cards and kind of learn more uh, about what was bundled in that pack, um, go ahead and check out that video. That's a full in-depth video. I think it's like 30 minutes long. Um, but yes, Info Recorder, um, all the games are here with the addition of Inkball. That was something that I touched on in the last video as well. Inkball is in here, um, which was a tablet PC edition. Windows Journal was another tablet PC edition. And speaking of tablet PC edition, I do have the full video in the works for that um, recent donation that was, you know, I actually got, if you guys haven't seen that unboxing video that I did recently, um, a very kind viewer actually sent me a tablet PC that runs Windows XP Tablet PC Edition, and I am working on a full video on that tablet, so stay tuned for that. But um, yes, the tablet PC stuff is still in here. Um, let's go ahead and actually run Winver here, uh, because I do want to take a look and see if, the, uh, if this has changed, which actually doesn't look like it has. This is still Service Pack 3, it's still calling itself Media Center Edition up here, um, so he hasn't actually changed this at all. Um, and I'm not sure if I ever confirmed if this was based off of Media Center Edition or Professional or Tablet PC Edition. It leads me to believe it's based off of Media Center Edition because it is using um, that banner up here. And one last thing before that I actually sign out here, I do want to show you guys that the uh, space on the hard drive has actually increased. Previously it was 2.29 gigabytes, and in this version it is 3.25 gigabytes, which is uh, about a gigabyte larger. Um, than it was in the previous version. So there has been a gigabyte of data added uh, to this operating system since its previous, you know, release, which obviously was never really released because this is an unofficial project. Um, Windows XP Professional, just for reference, takes up 1.5 gigabytes. So this is about, this is just over double um, of a standard Windows XP professional installation. There you guys go. That is a very, very brief look at the updated version of Geek XP. Again, this is version 4.0 created by viewer 360 Alaska. I want to thank you so much, man, for just putting your time into this. I mean, this is still a pretty cool project. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely sure to give this one a thumbs up. Be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on those channel notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever that I upload a new video, which I do every single week on this channel. And also be sure to drop me a comment down below letting me know um, if you guys have any thoughts on this uh, particular version of XP that we just took a look at in this video. Do you guys have any video suggestions? Do you guys have your own um, unofficial Windows versions or versions of Windows that you guys know about that I might not know about that you want to possibly see featured on this channel? Um, be sure to shoot me an email, send me a DM over on Twitter. That's how a lot of these unofficial Windows versions get to me is it's all from you guys. And this is just, you know, an awesome little community that we have going here and I'm so glad to be a part of it. Um, guys, I just want to thank you all so much for watching and for everything that you guys do to make these videos possible. And as always, I will see you all in the next video.
So um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Oh my god. <laughs>